وكذلك أوحينا إليك روحا من أمرنا ما كنت تدري ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان ولكن جعلناه نورا ولكن جعلناه نورا نهدي به من نشاء من عبادنا وإنك لتهدي إلى صراط مستقيم صراط الله الذي له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض ألا إلى الله تصير الأمور Okay, we've got another email just came in. You're watching the mailbox. I'm Yusuf Festus. And this one is saying, I'm confused about life. I feel depressed all the time. I'm bored and I'm tired of everything. And why does Islam forbid having fun like music and social drinking, to my alcohol, and dating just for fun? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, first of all, I want to talk about, let's talk about your subject of depression. You said your depression, you're experiencing that, and you're bored, you're tired of everything. This is from Shaitan. The believer doesn't get bored because he has so much to do. We're always busy. Even if we're sitting in the doctor's office, in the waiting room, even if we're waiting at a red light, traffic light, in, uh, you know, traffic, so... We have a lot to do because we're making dhikr to Allah. We're thanking Allah for giving us life, for giving us the opportunity to worship Him, for giving us a chance to be forgiven and a chance to enter into His Jannah, His paradise, to be eternally and always at peace and feeling good and never depressed. We're talking about the paradise in the Jannah. So the Muslim has got a lot to do. We say, Alhamdulillah. We say, SubhanAllah. We're talking about Allahu Akbar all the time, remembering Allah. The famous expression, La Tansa Dhikr Allah. Don't forget the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is something for us to do. The other thing is to read the Quran more. Spend time with the Quran. And even if it's in translation form, begin to understand that Allah is speaking to your heart. And then associate yourself closely with other good Muslims. And this should help a lot too. Stay away from the things that you just mentioned right here, and maybe that'll help as well, because it's not really fun sitting around listening to music and getting drunk and taking girls out and so on and all, all that, because what's happening here really is you're searching for something in the wrong place, and you're not going to find happiness with it. The only happiness, true peace, you'll ever find is between you and Allah. That relationship is the relationship you need, then you won't need these other things. But I realize that's just barely touching the subject for you. So I would like for you to send me another email uh, with more details about what's going on with your religious background, so on, and then we'll try to help you more with that. The next one here just came in. <laughs> it says... Is TV haram? And I will tell you quickly, TV is not haram as long as you don't turn it on. <laughs> but seriously, we're on TV right now, and I hope you understand that there are some programs that are haram, others are not haram. It's all in what you're watching in general. But there are a lot of problems with that, and I would like for you to go to our website to get more information about this, and type in the keyword here, TV space haram and then uh, you'll be able to get more details about it that's our website at islamnewsroom.com and then go to the mailbox uh, there and get uh, the search box for more details well that's it for the mailbox today until next time peace assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh